Hello friends, welcome to my channel Nihira Techies and this video I am going to cover how to create sidebar menu in our Angular application using Material UI components. So before going to the implementation, let me show my final output. Okay, this is my application. See, this is my sidebar menu. It is working and also it is having some properties based on that we can do the customization okay so currently we are seeing it is showing in the left side that actually we can move in the right side also and initially the content should be disabled okay so when i'm clicking it is enabled so if you want the initial load itself we can make it as the enabled one and the page load our neighbor is showing side neighbor and if you don't want in the initial load that also we can manage we have several properties see this open mode position so anyway i'm going to start the implementation there we can cover all the properties okay okay this is our application so here the first thing is we have to import the required models our component name is side name okay and the model match side name model and we may going to use some buttons and icons that are actually already imported and this list also I'm going to use so the name list so let me import this one okay we have done the basic changes now the second thing is in our menu bar so initially the output should be like this only see nothing is there and we have only top menu for implementing the side menu bar you can use this mat dryer the container okay so inside the container we can use this mat dryer and also mat dryer content okay So here in this mat dryer side, we can include the menus and in this content side, uh, we can have our application content, okay? So let me define one sample menu. So for that, we can use this mat nav list. So inside that mat list item. And here we can have this button so inside that I'm going to use this mat icon so first icon is for dashboard so let me save this one okay initially it is not showing so that we can include two properties so the first one is opened equal to true and the next one is mode I'm going to provide the value side we have two more values that actually I will explain it later and in this content section so let me move our router outlet inside our mat dryer content okay see the output now so in the left side we are able to see this menu right it is not coming the fully so let me include this uh, minimum height okay 600 pixel see now it is fine and the example purpose let me include uh, some more menus then only it is somewhat looks fine home and then setting and help some menus okay and finally I am adding this analytics
see now it is somewhat fine right so we have around 5 minus so next we have to manage the visibility so that actually plan to implement the event in this button okay so the step is very simple if you noted here I included this identifier value so let me copy this one and let me go to this menu button yeah here already I'm having this router link so let me remove this one so instead of that we can have this click event this dryer dot toggle okay so let me refresh the screen see if I'm clicking see it is simply sliding so and the next thing is the properties we can see like a mode so the first one is side right the similar way we have this over so over means uh, initially the full content is disabled so when I'm clicking so it will be like this okay and the thing is the content page is not moving so let me go to my another one page see so it is starting from the initial itself so when I'm clicking this sidebar somewhat it's hidden right okay so here this end of text is completely hidden okay so in this scenario we can have one more property push so push means uh, it is slightly pushing our content okay see now we are able to see this enter text so the whole content is moving so that is the difference between uh, mode and push so we, so mostly we can use this side that is more than fine okay and the initial load itself it is opened in case if you don't want just to remove this property and make this as the false So initially it is not showing so after clicking only it is coming okay so this is all about the opened property and the final one is position so the default value should be start so we can give end so it is moved to right actually see now it is coming like this anyway let me move this into start now let me reiterate what actually I have done the steps are very simple we have included this mat dryer container so inside that we have this mat dryer and also this mat dryer content so whatever content we have that actually we have moved into our dryer content and the menu items we have included in our mat dryer okay and then we have included this identifier so using this identifier we set the toggle functionality in the top of the button okay it is here and finally we have applied the properties so we discussed the three properties the opened uh, mode position open have true or false value mode have side and push and the final one is over the similar in this position we use this end and start okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching